I'm gonna say you've never looked so manly. Uh, I feel totally powerless up here without a microphone. Very vulnerable. Do you guys have another microphone? Hi, guys. Okay. Yeah. They, they, they would like us to. I don't want to say this. So, um, I just spent maybe 10 or 15 minutes uh, squashing the entire Dean and Cass situation. That, I mean, I, so, uh, they'd like us to make out now. Um, really? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd, I'd rather read your uh, your resume and, and bio from 1980. Yeah. Um, oh man. I don't know. Um, okay. So, all right. These are these are these are two scripts. We don't need these. We don't need these. You know, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this because we're you know because we're professionals. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have, I have a question for you. Uh, um. In, in your opinion, yeah. why, why, yes, do we prank you? Oh. I actually honestly think that it's because you're afraid of me. <laughs> Does that resonate with you? It's true. Does that help you? No. Why, why do you think that you prank me? I know it's not because it's funny or satisfying. <laughs> I said we feel comfortable enough to prank you as maliciously as we do because we like you the best. Oh, that's really sweet. My grandmother used to hit me and say, I do it because I love you. <laughs> well, she sounds like a really awesome yeah, lady. That's great. Um, yeah. That's a really weak excuse. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, you know, here's the problem with this scene. I don't, I don't remember it at all. Do you know what, what this is referencing? No. We're just gonna read this. Cold okay. read. It's called a cold read in our uh, neck of the woods. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who do you want to be? I want to be Hitch. Of course you do. I am really racist. <laughs> it's true. I always get the black rolls. Um, okay. <laughs> hey. I had a really nice time. I, I had a uh, great time too, with like, right? with, with a beer. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not understanding things here. What's up? What's up? Oh, I'm 
I'm not feeling it. What do you mean? I, I, I oh, this is the same scene. I know, I'm confused. Oh, this is three copies of the exact same page. Why are we sharing a page? We just got tricked into doing the scene twice. Yes, we did. <laughs> They knew that the scene was over, and we didn't. We didn't. That would have been much better if we had separated the pages. It probably would have, because then you could have stood over there, and I could have stood over here, and I could have come 90, and you could have come 10, and the whole thing would have really made sense. We needed to rehearse that, I Unfortunately, think. Unfortunately, this is why we're in television and not film. That's right. And why we're not allowed on stage. This is true. Role. Yes, as it, as it was. Um, um, that was... That was terribly uh, uncomfortable. Terrible. Um, um, I'm gonna go take a shower. That was awkward. Um, it was weird. Um, he slipped me the tongue, by the way. I just wanna... I did, as I do. It's weird. As I do, generally. As uh, if it's a rule of thumb. Or tongue. Uh, don't print that. Don't, don't print that. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Can I believe at this point? Can I ask you a question? Um, now I'm just kind you, of in an awkward position. You've had you've had kissing scenes. I've had, uh, kiss, I've had kissing scenes in, in in television. I have. Um, yes. how, how, I was on a soap opera. Oh yeah. That's so all I did. so there are attractive women that you're having kissing scenes with. Do you um do they slip you the tongue? Do you slip them the tongue? Where's you know, the there's there's an, it, that's that's kind of an interesting situation when it comes to the kissing on screen thing. It's um, true. There was a woman, actress, recently, um, of which I had to kiss on screen. And in rehearsal, we got to the point where we were supposed to lip lock. And, and she just kind of backed up and she goes, as a rule, no tongue. You go, duh. And it is kind of a, it's kind of a, a it's, it's a bit of a known thing with actors that you just, you know, you can make it look like there's, but you just kind of keep the tongue in your mouth, and that's <laughs> relative. Are there any children in the audience today? Nah. Okay. Um, and then after about take two or three, boom, in with the tongue she comes. <laughs> and here's the thing, and when that happens, you have no choice but to try to defend yourself. <laughs> It's like, a, it's like a mouth game of capture the flag at this point. I mean, it's really, really more... Yeah. And um, so when I when I first got to LA, I didn't know that rule. Uh, <laughs> and I got cast in this movie, this independent movie. Um, and they were doing a chemistry read with, uh, with with my character. So I had been cast, and then they bring in all the girls who are going to play potentially play my girlfriend, and they have us read together in front of the director. So uncomfortable. So it's a, uncomfortable. It's a very it's, it's, weird, it's very uncomfortable. Very weird thing. Chemistry reads are just very uncomfortable in general. It's awkward and it's like you're it's like a first date, but but you don't have any time to warm up at all. And you're doing it with an audience of executives and suits who can watch you. And uh, and so anyway, we, one of the scenes we were doing was a kissing scene. And all of these women that they came in for the audition, they were beautiful. And so I was like, sweet, I'm gonna make out with all of them. And I did it. <laughs> it was terrible for them. It was terrible for them. It was nice for me, but um, but it was a little awkward. Um, there was a um, anybody remember Dark Angel? Yeah. Uh, there, there was an episode in in on that show where my character was uh, in a very elaborate uh, uh, strip club. I guess. With the fish tank with the woman in it. That, remember this? Yeah. 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 And, and uh, uh, Jessica's character comes up and sits on my lap and is like twirling my hair and doing that whole thing. Well, when I walked into that particular scene, uh, one of the ladies of the club comes up and like is like, hey, I've missed you and licks my face. <laughs> you guys remember this at all? Yeah. Okay. They auditioned that part on the day. I mean, they had a, a line of women come in and lick your face. All of the all of the background which they hired from a local club. So they were actual 
strippers, entertainers, <laughs> as it were, uh, the director thought it would be fun to just have that happen as a, as some, some thing. He's like, hey, hey, I need you to come with me for a second. I'm like, okay, he walks me into this room while they're setting up like this big giant shot. He's like, so uh, this is a situation when you walk in, I want one of the girls to come up and, and you know, give you a, a hi, how you doing kind of thing. I'm like, oh, all right. And he's like, so we have them all waiting outside. And it's like, family clad women, 15 of them lined up. And, uh, and he's like, okay, bring in the first one. And she walks in, and I'm talking like high heels, short dress, you know, the whole... <laughs> and, uh, and he goes, okay, I need you to walk up to him and pretend he is your number one client. And give him a nice greeting. <laughs> so you're how old at this point? I'm probably 22, 23 years old. And had your parents told you that when you grew up, you were going to get to go to Los Angeles and be paid to have strippers give you lap dances? <laughs> this, this sounds like a good career move. <laughs> <laughs> we'll to um, so that's what one after the other. And it got to the point where he wasn't quite getting the, the reaction or the performance that he was hoping for, so he was up in the ante and he was like, hey, why don't you grab him? And, and <laughs> he wasn't getting the performance from you? Probably. You were failing like, to perform. I was shocked. I, I was like, <laughs> um, yeah, so that was, they don't, they don't really teach that in acting school, do they? <laughs> Not a big part of the curriculum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So all sorts anyway, of stuff, yeah. moral of the story: no tongue, no. unless provoked, <laughs> and then defend yourself. That's all you can do. Is just simply put yeah. a defense in. And a, there is a do I need to leave? I need to leave. I've got to go. I'm sorry. Here's I, the hook. I, really, I appreciate standing on stage with him longer than I have to. So I'm going to go. Uh, I love you all. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, okay, guys. Well, well, good luck.